I remember that. I was looking forward to being able to recover pretty fast. The faster the pain goes away. The doctors have been saying that my recovery has been pretty stellar. The faster Cameron Hansen can get back to being a teenager. I remember these. I was so I was so little then. Now I won't be getting like um, questions asked. People won't be giving me weird looks. The weird looks came too frequently for the rising sophomore at Farragut High School. His pectus excavatum caused his breastbone to look like it had sunken into his chest. He'd had it since he was born. Like I remember in, in middle school a lot, whenever we would change in the locker rooms, kids would always be asking me um, what I had with my, what's going on with my chest. And I'd always have to sit there and explain it to him. And it kind of, it kind of felt stigmatized. He couldn't play the sports he wanted to. The condition compressed his lungs, so deep breathing was more difficult. I've been able to run pretty, pretty far, but I've never been able to to really do super uh, intense exercises in sports. Fortunately, surgery can fix it, something Cameron and his parents, Brittany and Kyle, were excited about. With Cameron, I think because he was so excited, it took a lot of pressure off of me because I didn't feel like I had to convince him to do it. He decided to do it. Children's Hospital has one of the few chest wall deformity clinics in the country. And luckily, Children's Hospital was close by when Cameron needed it. Brittany says East Tennessee Children's Hospital was the best choice for her family because Cameron's surgeon, Dr. Glaze Vaughn, came highly recommended from Cameron's primary care doctor. We just felt like I knew he was in trusted hands just based on the reviews and Dr. Wells' recommendation. So then when we met up with him, Cameron loved him, came home and was just like, he's awesome. I felt, you know, I felt like he was listening to me. So on June 15th, Cameron underwent surgery for pectus excavatum at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. The surgery usually causes a ton of long-lasting pain, which doctors often manage with drugs or an epidural. But Cameron would be different. We actually can go in with a probe and specifically freeze the nerves that supply the skin to that area. And by doing that, you get a temporary block on that nerve since there are no pain impulses felt. Dr. Vaughn made history at Children's Hospital, performing the first ever cryogenic therapy procedure for pain related to pectus excavatum surgery. The FDA just approved the procedure for pediatric patients last December. If we can get them through that initial pain, typically painful portion without much pain, then that's a, a win for the patient. Cameron's winning percentage went up with Dr. Vaughn's help. The cryogenic treatment saved Cameron time in the hospital and it minimized narcotic use. As we know, there is an epidemic of opioid use and abuse in our country. So anything we can do to be better stewards of opioids and not expose our patients to those, we feel like it's beneficial. Now, Cameron can enjoy those benefits pain-free. I think people should really, really consider this. I think it um, really has made a difference for me and I think it'll make a difference for a lot of people to be able to have a faster recovery and have a lot less painful recovery. It'll be nice just knowing that I'm completely normal. Like it's, it's a good feeling.